Okay, the coronavirus taught us a couple things. We're ready to get back to a version of normal, and we all want to stay safe from COVID-19. But until there's a vaccine, we can't seem to have both. Since the coronavirus entered our world, the way we work, live, and interact has continued to be affected by this virus. So what happens next? How do we safely design a world that's healthier for everyone? Because there are still so many questions we need answered. But the fact is, right now, we just don't have those answers. It's like trying to predict the weather without any equipment. We rely on the forecast to let us know when weather is going to be severe and when it's safe to go outside. But with a virus that we can't actually see, it's a bit more difficult. So we have to be creative. And we've come up with a solution. A team of researchers in Kentucky are creating what we're calling a virus radar to help leaders and citizens alike make safer decisions. Just like predicting the weather, the virus radar will track data in real time as it becomes available. The way it works is simple, and it's actually based on an approach that's already used in testing new medicines. Volunteers are regularly tested for the virus and an immunity to it. Then this information is supplemented with other data, like presence of the virus in wastewater. It gets more sophisticated as more data becomes available. Researchers are then able to assemble that information to see a larger picture of the virus, where it is and where it's spreading, without needing to test everyone. Knowing this information allows us to be smarter and safer about getting out of our houses and going back to our regular lives again because exposing the virus is the first step in getting back to the world we knew before 2020. In short, the virus may have kept us from each other, but working together is exactly how we can overcome it.